on the ground and run to Listen to my Listen with love and breathe Go Into the street, sad as I can be. Hear me, willow, and weep. Murmur through the night to hide the starry light. So no. So no can see me crying and sad all alone we will tree Bend your branches down along the ground and call me sad.
<laughs> they speak music. Away from the city that hurts and mocks. I'm standing alone by the edge of the docks in the chill and the still of the night. I see the horizon, the great unknown. My heart is aching, it's as heavy as stone. Will the dawn coming on make it last? I cover the
That was, uh, again, Chanel Johns. Noah Garabini. And now Max is going to read, uh, two, Max Black will read two more poems and we'll play a couple numbers and that's it for the evening. We'll talk about uh, tomorrow at the end of the show, but there are, there are shows uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, quintets playing Ornette Coleman and John Coltrane and Thelonious Monk. Mm. And Count Basie and a bunch of other Maybe. great figures in American history. Okay. Anyway, here's my Maybe we should come down. Um, save something. Sorry. Uh, this is called Adieu to Norman, Bonjour to Jean and Jean Paul. Can you hear me okay, by the way? Yes. yes. <laughs> it is 12.10 in New York, and I'm wondering if I will finish this in time to meet Norman for lunch. Ah, lunch. I think I'm going crazy, what with my terrible hangover and the weekend coming up at excitement-prone Kenneth Cokes. I wish I was staying in town and working on my poems at Jones Studio for a new book by Grove Press, which they will probably not print. But it is good to be several floors up in the dead of night, wondering whether you are any good or not, and the only decision you can make is that you did it. Yesterday, I looked up the Rue Frémy Court on a map, and I was happy to find it like a bird flying over Paris et ses environs, which unfortunately did not include Seine et Oise, which I don't know as well as a number of other things. And Alan is back talking about God a lot, and Peter is back not talking very much, and Joe has a cold and is not coming to Kenneth's Although he is coming to lunch with Norman, I suspect he's making a distinction. Well, who isn't? I wish I were reeling around Paris instead of reeling around New York. I wish I weren't reeling at all. It is spring, the ice has melted, the Ricard is being poured. We are all happy and young and toothless. It is the same as old age. The only thing to do is simply continue. Is that simple? Yes, it is simple because it is the only thing to do. Can you do it? Yes, you can, because it is the only thing to do. Blue light over the Bois de Boulogne, Boulogne, as it continues, the Seine continues, the Louvre stays open, it continues, it hardly closes at all. The Bar American continues to be French. De Gaulle continues to be Algerian, as does Camus. Shirley Goldfarb continues to be Shirley Goldfarb. And Jane Hazan continues to be Jane Freilicher, I think. And Irving Sandler continues to be the balayeur des artistes, and so do I. Sometimes I think I'm in love with painting. And surely the piscine de Ligny continues to have water in it, and the floor continues to have tables and newspapers and people under them. And surely we shall not continue to be unhappy. We shall be happy, but we shall continue to be ourselves. Everything continues to be possible. René Char, Pierre Revedi, Samuel Beckett, it is possible, isn't it? I love Revedi for saying yes, though I don't believe it. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> finish with one, one more uh, local New York poem, if I can find it. I am not a painter. I'm not a painter, I'm a poet. Why? I think I would rather be a painter, but I'm not. Well, for instance, Mike Goldberg is starting a painting. I drop in. Sit down and have a drink, he says. I drink. We drink. I look up. You have sardines in it. Yes, it needed something there. Oh, I go. And the days go by and I drop in again. The painting is going on and I go, and the days go by. I drop in, the painting is finished. Where's sardines? All that's left is just letters. It was too much, Mike says. But me, one day I'm thinking of a color, orange. I write a line about orange. Pretty soon is a whole page of words, not lines. Then another page. There should be so much more, not of orange, of words, of how terrible orange is in life. Days go by. It is even in prose. I'm a real poet. My poem is finished, and I haven't mentioned orange yet. It's 12 poems. I call it Oranges. 
And one day in a gallery, I see Mike's painting. It's called Sardines. <laughs> Yes. Of swaddling burgundy brew, I find the very mention of you like a kicker in a julep or two. The thrill of the thought that you might give a thought to my plea. Still, I say to myself, get a hold of yourself. Can't you see that this never can be? Still, you got to my head with the smile that makes my temperature rise. I feel you like a thousand July. You intoxicate my soul with your eyes. Though I've said the happiest heart of mine has it a ghost of a chance in this crazy romance. Still, you go to what you did, you did, you did, you did, you did, you Thank you. 
Chanel Johns, yet again. Yes. Jess Frost for putting it on and the town of East Town. And, uh, uh, <laughs> we're going to play one more song. We're going to play blues, fine and mellow, which uh, Billy Holiday sang for a long, for a good portion of her career. And again, I just want to remind you that the music tomorrow night and Sunday is going to be radically different, very modern, beautiful. She's like rolling. I sound like Donald Trump. I'm no. sorry. I didn't mean, uh, but I just want to say that it's really. Don't invoke that name at this hour. Also, uh, in deep we sincerity, were happy. <laughs> now I'm depressed.
Eee! <laughs> 